well, from early on, we knew he wanted to be a firefighter. Uh, my older brothers used to hang around the fire company in our little town, and uh, they'd get to leave church when the siren rang. <laughs> and so that just really tickled my brother Russell. And he just thought, well, I gotta be a firefighter. But uh, he loved it, he really loved it. And when he was little, we moved from uh, one small town to another small town. And we were in the new house and we were trying to get the house all together and everything. And I was only eight years old when he was born. So at this time I was about 12. And uh, I heard the vacuum cleaner, but it didn't sound like the vacuum cleaner. It was all like muffled and everything. And here he had my mother's Electrolux plugged in and he had filled the tub and he was sucking it out. <laughs> and I don't know how he wasn't killed, <laughs> but we knew then he was bitten by the bug. <laughs> but no, he, was, he became a big bear of a man and he was so well loved by the community. I, I couldn't believe it. I moved out of town like about 20 miles away. But I mean, I always came back to, for family things and picnics and such. And uh, he was a good brother and I had four brothers and I lost my oldest brother at 47 with a heart attack and my dad at 61 with a heart attack, and my brother Russell had a heart attack at the scene of the fire. And uh, I've never been to a funeral that I have seen such an outpouring of love from the brothers in the fire company and all the fire fi companies that he was involved with. He taught many how to, he did CMT classes, he taught classes at the hospitals, he was up in New York teaching classes, and they came from all over. And it, I get the chills every time I think of the tribute they gave him. And someone had said to me that they wished he had known how much his town loved him, but he did know. Because he, he just beamed when anybody talked to him about anything about the fire company. And that was, that was his goal, is just to keep that fire co company alive. Well, uh, I, I met a person that goes to cemeteries, and I haven't been able to stay away from the cemetery he's at, and I was there one day, and uh, I brought a little fire truck and put it there by the grave and everything, and a couple came down, and they said, oh, did you know Russell? And I said, yes. I said, that was my brother. And the lady said, I can't tell you what a opportunity for us to have my husband get sick, need an ambulance, and he, she said, your brother walked into that house, he put everyone at ease, she said, he just calmed me right down, he calmed my husband down, and he came back after he came home from the hospital to visit him. And that's the kind of a person he was. He really cared about the people in his community. And I was very proud of that and proud of him.